Welcome back to Anderton's TV, everybody. Today's video is going to be a blindfolded shootout of four of the most epic reverb pedals money can buy. Mr. Pete? Yeah? Please confirm <laughs> that you can't see anything. Can't see anything. You can't see anything. Right. We've got four Sorry, pedals I hear here. You either. <laughs> Actually, I've got five pedals here. We've got a J Rocket, uh, the Jeff Archer, which we've got always on to allow Pete to have a little bit of grit uh, if he so wishes oh, by turning his guitar pedal. up. Mm -hmm. Then we've got four reverb pedals. Why this four, I hear you ask? Well, uh, these, when we talked to the guitar team in Andertons, were a combination of either the best selling or the, the, the ones that we perceive to be the best quality of the reverb pedals that we sell. So we haven't got anywhere near sort of affordable reverb pedals or anything like this. Everything on this table here is somewhere between sort of 350 and 500 pedals. Ooh, 500 quid for reverb pedal yeah. So um, we've got a mono guitar signal coming out of the Archer into the blue sky and then from there on in, we've got a, a stereo chain all the way through, uh, in and out, out of each pedal until we eventually get to a pair of Victory amplifiers that are both set to be super clean. One is a, a DP40, the other is a V140. And a clean G chord sounds like this. Oh, G chord, sorry. <laughs> and as you can hear, no we switch the reverb off. Um, <coughs> Pete does know which four reverb pedals we've got, uh, but I'm not going to tell him which one he's hearing. I can't um, even remember actually now. And oh, well, that's good as well. And I obviously, what may affect your decision about which one to buy might be more feature driven, in which case you might decide, oh, well, that one's got the feature that I want and that one hasn't, and that's fine. Uh, but I've just decided that we're going to go with a couple of comparisons. One, all four of these pedals do plate reverbs, so we're going to do like a plate, big plate reverb thing. They all do spring reverb, so we're going to try and have a go at some spring reverb um, comparisons. Uh, beyond that, some of the pedals do some more weird stuff, some of them are more simplistic, so I'm not really going to go beyond the plate and the spring Beyonce. kind of comparisons. So, you people of YouTube land, one, two, three, four, pick a number, do it now. Always go for number three. Is that it? Like every yeah, time they go for number three. three. three so like here we go. Number. Here is our first plate reverb for Pete to get into. Oh! It's a little bit of modulation. That's delicious, man. That sounds good. I mean, I couldn't tell you which pedal it well, is. I'm, but I'm it not expecting you to. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, absolutely <laughs> fantastic. One, two, three, four. It's predictable. Uh, here we go. No, oh, hang on. Let's keep it well. Sounds good as well, man. Oh, I should say I've, I like playing with blindfold on because I'm like trying to. I don't know. I've tried to great. set these all 
with similar settings. Yeah, so they've all had their kind of tone too. pretty much set in the middle. They've all got the pre-delay set at about 25%. Uh, they've all got the mix around about 40 to 50%, so quite a, a wet kind of mix. Mm, wet. Um, and and I've actually dialed the modulation off. Have you? Uh, yeah, so there I shouldn't, the first one had be, slightly there bit shouldn't of a be any modulation in these. Let's try another one, Mr. Pete. Maybe it's my delicious vibrato in my fingers that I don't even notice. So which one is this? Uh, obviously, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> number four. This is number four. That's shorter decay on it. I make it longer. Sounds very similar. It seems a little bit darker to me, that one. It did seem a little bit darker, yeah, that one, didn't it? Yeah. There are tone controls on most of these that we mm -hmm. can compensate with. Last one, uh, this, is, this is number two. I think after this, I'm just going to go through it straight one to four. Okay. And you yeah. guys can play at home by closing your eyes. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. too stark as well. You know what? I've kind of decided that actually picking the order of effects at random is kind of annoying. So let, let I'm just going to go through one, two, three, four. Uh -huh. And um, I'm fairly sure Pete didn't see the order that the pedals were in when we were setting them up. No, I but was facing I, the I order, just, I, I really want you to just zone in, Pete, on you, where you are in terms of just being in that beautiful space that reverb kind of conjures up. You guys at home as well. Close your eyes, get some headphones on, whatever, and just decide which is the one that just makes you feel like you've flown off into some magical guitar space. So here we go, number one. That's lovely, that one. That's really nice. It's got a nice slight modulation on it, but... Anyway. Number two. Less, it's under, more understated that one. Do you want? I was just about to say. Do you think the mix needs to be? Yeah, just maybe a, a little bit more mix in higher. That one. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh, yes. Just, just going to 
gonna jump back to number one again. Number two. It's darker, it's darker. Prefer number one there, but. Yeah. These but are all too, largely though. sort of, you know, preset, no tweaking, kind of everything flat. Mm -hmm. I, I could make either of them brighter or darker if, if you needed to. Let's do number three. Okay. That's big, that. It's huge, isn't it? Huge. Okay, let's just do a quick one, two, three. One. Two. Three. There's more of that, there's more of the three. It comes in quicker, so the pre-delay is, or oh, it's just louder when it comes in, you know what I mean? So what do you prefer? Do you want less pre-delay no, on it, number three or more I mean, pre-delay? I, I, th I think they're quite similar oh, already, but mm. you know they're quite similar. I think maybe just just levels on them that'll sound more or less right. the same. Let's do way, number you know? four. Yeah, let's have number four. See, so they need more of that, more of a volume. More pre-delay or more just volume. Oh, that hit me that little. That sounds good too, man. Wow, that okay, sounds good. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three, four, bosh, 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 just maybe okay. one little chord, and then you're going to choose one, okay. two, three, four as your favorite okay. one for the plate mode. Okay. Ah, <laughs> they're very similar. <laughs> I'd say two or four. Uh, two or four? Can I have two against? Yeah, of course you can. Uh, that one. You like number it's four? Slightly longer, yeah. There we I go. I think it's just a thing of just attaching, but that's that feels really nice. That I one. like it. Okay, good for you. Right, so number four, remember which one that one was because we'll revisit at the end. Uh, I'm going to need two minutes now just to uh, layer up some spring reverb sound. Right, so every one of these pedals is now right. set to its spring mode. Um, like spring. And let's have a little listen. Again, I've kind of kept pretty much all the controls central. I've turned the modulation off, mm -hmm. left the EQ flat. Mm -hmm. So again, we'll just do one, two, three, four again. So here we go, number one. Okay. Numero de. Nice. Trois. Sounds quite digital. If that makes sense. And Can I have a bit more of that? Maybe a little bit more level? I mean, it's between two and four again for two me. Two and four again. Um, just, uh, well, let's, um, let's go between two and four.
See, I like that. It's got a nice sort of. Uh, you like the clang, clangy. Name. Oh, is that four? Yeah. Yeah, less clang, right? Two feels like I've got too much mix, but anyway, let's just dial it down. What was that? Uh, sorry, that was two. Okay. This is four. Yeah, two, two is my favourite. Two is your favourite this time around. So yeah. two for spring, four for plate. Mm -hmm. um, it's the super uh, realistically sort of uh, springy spring, spring. Now, one of these pedals, I wonder if we'll just put some modulation on the spring, because one of these pedals needs to leave the lineup if we want to do a hall reverb, unless, of course, a big really? room would be a yeah, hall. Is this a hall, a big you room? You think a big is room a is a hall? I suppose a big room is a hall. Okay. We have worked out indeed that a big room is in fact a hall. <laughs> um, so, like small number shoes, small shoes. One. Okay. Number two. Is there more level on that one? So does this just make it mean level you want and more. decay? Yeah, okay. We more decay, that. more level. Yeah. Mm okay. Number three. Okay. Yeah. Needs more. It's long enough, but it's not big enough. Does that make sense? <laughs> So you, you Two want, things I've never heard. Sorry, you want more in more, the mix. More, more volume, more mix, yeah. Okay. okay. And lastly, number four. Again, okay, compared number to number one. four. That's too much of too that. Too much, yeah. we, can, we can take it down. So, um, number two, or you, you don't? No, I get, go what, four again, please. go. Whatever that one is. That's number four. Okay. So we have uh, round one went to number four. So mm -hmm. the that was the plate reverb mm -hmm. went to number four. Round two went to number two. Mm -hmm. I'm right in saying that I think, aren't mm -hmm. I cameraman? Yeah. yeah. Tay's been asleep for the last half an hour. He's not sure. So have I. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I believe the third and final round went back to number four. So there, by with two rounds to one, mm -hmm. uh, number four wins. Uh, what did you guys think out there? You were listening. Um, I Shall I tell you what I thought? Yes. 
and obviously I know what the pedals are. So yeah. it's, uh, I thought number four did the thing that we often say of this brand. And that's that it just makes the guitar sound, the guitar tone sounds better. What, there's the a, Strymon, some, is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair there's, enough. There's yeah, yeah, something yeah. about that as you were skipping between one and four. Yeah. The only thing I really felt was that I just liked the it, basic warmth of the guitar tone. So it's I can, can I look at Yeah, yeah, look, yeah. Ah, so we're, we're so that's one, one, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four. So oh, th this sneaky one, the other way around then. This one, two rounds. This one around. Yeah. This didn't win any rounds. Oh, wow, um, okay. And but this was the one I was saying, I didn't know if we'd better do a whole reverb because it, it only has it's the it's the most simplistic of the three so it has plate room and spring oh, modes see. and i thought well maybe if i turn room up yeah, yeah. Hall. so it's definitely um i mean you could deep dive dive into these two definitely you know that could, you could be deep diving in and spend lots of time and maybe you know we don't necessarily know these as well I, I, uh, well as i these would do but i 100 you're agree. right there it's got this it's got this magic sort of sound that just makes mm. you want to play it a bit more you know and that's you know, but that that spring is fantastic. That's the closest one. But I've I've there, I've played a Ventris. Uh, what was there? They did a spring reverb, which was really really good. I think I feel like Once it's worth us. Ago. I mean, clearly you can see from the top of the Ventris, it's got a ton of that's super, of, um, super different cool, parameters. Yeah. And and looking through the uh, Illuminae uh, manual as well, that has a ton wow. of different stuff in it as well. I mean, it's interesting that the two you liked best are without doubt the simplest two. You didn't know that, obviously, Just like while me. you were playing. Yeah. yeah. And, and in actual fact, the one that you like best of all is the simplest one. It has the least stuff in it of all of them. Yeah. Um, which is rather nice to know. Yeah. I mean, what can I say? But well, there you go. You know, I, 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 I thought they all had a fabulous sounding reverb on them. But Absolutely. There was something... I'm not sure. I, 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 yeah, there was something do sort of consistently... What, don't do that. Yeah. Uh, there was something just consistently nice sounding about yeah. the, the blue sky. There I, we do, are. I think the flint has got a better spring than the blue sky. Right. The, re the reverb in yeah. the flint is, is one, f you know, yeah, that's, yeah. that's more like this. Fine. Well, yeah. there you go. What did you guys think? Uh, hopefully you played along and you uh, were blindfolded up. I can tell you what people think. Whoever's got one of these thinks that's the best. Whoever got that one thinks that's the best. And whoever got this one That was the most expensive the one. The Illuminae yeah. is, the, is the 500 quid one. These are John all... John Mayer uses that. Does he? He's got that on the board. I've seen it, yeah. But I, See, you know, if you wouldn't have had your blindfold on, you'd have picked I, that I would, three That would be the best one. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. Look, uh, links below uh, to each of these. If you'd like another blindfold shootout of other kinds of pedals, please suggest in the comments section and we'll ignore them all. Uh, anyway, <laughs> if you, I'll say that again. Right. Thank yeah. you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.